WWE superstar Matt Riddle's love life has been in the tabloids for all the wrong reasons in the past few years. His tumultuous relationships with women have cost him his reputation and even almost cost him his job at WWE. He even admitted himself that his personal life is in complete shambles and he lost his wife and kids because of his antics. This was all in the public eye, so WWE obviously had to lean into this on national TV. Talk about my family, man. Let's talk about your family. Oh, wait, you ain't got one because your wife divorced you and took your kids and they don't want to see your bitch ass anymore, huh? Matt Riddle has been involved with many, many women, including some adult film stars in the past few years, and they have accused him of heinous things, like manipulation and emotional and sexual abuse. He's even been described as evil and a serial cheater by these women. What also didn't really help Matt Riddle's situation was his drug habit, and a combination of all these factors left his life spiraling out of control. But is Matt Riddle's reputation as the most controversial playboy in wrestling true? Is Riddle really a self-absorbed narcissist who abuses women just for his sick game? Or is this a situation of an innocent man whose reputation has been unrightfully dragged through the mud? Is Matt Riddle really the devil in disguise? Matt Riddle was born in Pennsylvania in 1986, and growing up he was a fan of professional wrestling. This prompted him to join his high school wrestling club, and he became New York Wrestling State Champion. He even beat UFC legend John Bones Jones in wrestling when they were both young. He eventually began transitioning into MMA and after 6 months of training, he was already on the TV show The Ultimate Fighter. In his first fight, he knocked out his opponent in a few seconds, which impressed many and from there he was a guaranteed future prospect in the MMA world. He then signed to the UFC and he really did well there with 8 wins, 3 losses and 2 no contests. The facts were that he was the real deal and not just some fluke fighter. During his time in the UFC, he married his now ex-wife, Lisa Riddle, and with her he has 2 daughters and a son. During his time in the UFC, Matt Riddle's eccentric personality really came to light and the Matt Riddle that we know today was being born. He started to reveal more parts of his life, like his love for earth-grown drugs, even going as far as tattooing a mushroom on the left side of his abdomen to show his love for taking mushrooms. This video is about his tumultuous love life, so we also have to mention his first love, Mary Jane. In other words, marijuana. He even went on TV to advocate for marijuana usage when it became legal in his state. However, weed was more stigmatized back then than it is now, and his drug problems ultimately cost him his job at the UFC. Now the reason he's not in the UFC anymore is because he could not pass a drug test. <laughs> After Riddle was released from UFC, he briefly signed to Bellator, but he was released before he could even get a single fight in the company. Realizing his days in the MMA world were limited, he chose to chase another one of his passions, professional wrestling. And so he started training to become a pro wrestler. He spent four years on the independent circuit, wrestling for various promotions and building his name in the pro wrestling scene. He eventually signed for WWE in 2018 and started wrestling in the developmental brand NXT. In NXT, he really impressed as the original bro. Part of the appeal of Matt Riddle was his laid back persona and easy going demeanor. His character had surfer vibes and he resonated so much with the fans because he was just like the chilled high school stoner that was cool with anyone, always smiling, always laughing. He seemed to be the type of guy who you could kick back with and smoke a fat doobie with and have a good laugh. He was kind of like the wrestling version of Shaggy from Scooby Doo. No, not that Shaggy, this Shaggy. Smoke weed every day. Not to mention, he was an absolute beast in the ring. His wrestling prowess and athletical ability was second to none. Every time he was going to wrestle, you knew it was going to be a good match. All of this made him a bona fide superstar in the ranks of NXT, and he was promoted to the main roster. However, his transition to the main roster was not really smooth, as this is when his unlikable character really started to surface. On TV, he was doing pretty alright, but he had multiple famous beefs backstage with the likes of Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, Booker T, and even Randy Orton before they eventually teamed up, and even more. Some of these beefs are very real to this day. There's not many wrestlers that stirred up that much commotion when they walked through the main roster curtain, but his problems were only going to get worse. In the summer of 2020, during the Speaking Out movement, which was a social movement against emotional, physical and sexual abuse in the professional wrestling industry, where people publicized the allegations of misconduct committed by prominent people in the wrestling industry, Candy Cartwright accused Matt Riddle of sexual abuse. According to her, Riddle asked her to perform oral on him and she turned down his advances, and he allegedly told her, what if I made you? And then allegedly, he choked her and forced her head down so that she could perform oral on him. Matt Riddle had this to say on the matter. I have never in my entire life sexually assaulted 
a man, woman, or anybody. And that includes Samantha Tavble, Candy Cartwright, the story about that van trip and the driver being asleep and me forcing you to do stuff and hop on, whatever. It's a complete lie. It's a fabricated story because you're still mad. You know why you're mad? Because yes, you're right. We had an affair. You have plenty of evidence of that. And you know what? I never denied it because it happened. Do I want to talk about it? Do I really want to share about it? No. It's embarrassing because I feel like a real piece of crap cheating on my wife and doing that and now having to talk about it publicly. But I have to. WWE then immediately released a statement saying that they were looking into the matter. Riddle then filed for a restraining order against her, claiming that she harassed, stalked, and threatened his safety both in person and over the internet. Cartwright then filed a $10 million lawsuit against Riddle, but she eventually dropped this lawsuit. It's unclear whether they settled out of court, but this ordeal did major damage to Riddle's reputation. Many people were lobbying for him to get fired from WWE at this point. This incident also affected his marriage with Lisa Riddle negatively, seeing that Riddle was cheating on her with Candy for a while. Lisa eventually divorced Matt Riddle, and according to reports, Riddle did not even put up a fight for his children in court, so she was granted full custody. However, during the time Riddle was dealing with his divorce and was separated from his wife, this is when he met a woman by the name of Daniela Petro, who is a makeup artist and has no connections to the wrestling industry. They dated for about six months and she accused him of abusing her in many ways. Um, I'm talking about Matt Riddle. I'm talking about you, bro. I told you, you may have hurt me, but I'm not gonna stop until you're stopped. Finding out the hard way that you have been conned into loving a man who uses your love to then take advantage of you, to then manipulate you, to sexually abuse you, to torment you. And he has a pedestal of fame and he has the support of people who, who idolize him. But why would you idolize the devil? This man abused me sexually. This is Riddle's most vocal ex, and to this day, she's still pushing hard for him to get fired from WWE. The things that she accuses him of often make it onto the front page news of wrestling websites. She's a scorned lover who will stop at nothing to see Riddle fall. Perhaps she's so hurt because him and Daniela's relationship actually ended because he was cheating on her with another wrestler called Ivy Malibu, who was 19 years old at the time of them dating. Their relationship lasted about one year, and it's unclear how they ended, but it seems their breakup was pretty messy. This is what Ivy Malibu said about their breakup. A certain person has chosen to make decisions that have hurt me and countless other people. This is almost like a blessing in disguise because I've undergone like one of the most like traumatizing years of my life and had a lot of like terrible things happen all because of one person. Like I'm absolutely devastated, dejected, doleful, miserable, melancholic, whatever you want to throw out there. That's how I feel. Matt Riddle clearly broke this girl's heart and he didn't stop there breaking women's hearts. The next girl that he got involved with was adult film star Jordan Max. Don't look up her name. And their relationship lasted around six months. At the time he was with Max, his drug problems began to get worse as he started progressing past just alcohol, weed and mushrooms. This led to his relationship with Max deteriorating. He also started to cheat on Jordan Max with another adult film star, Misha Montana. Again, don't look up her name. His drug problem got so bad in fact that he started to do drugs with the adult star that he was cheating with, Misha Montana, and he even failed the WWE drug test for the second time and was suspended by WWE and sent to rehab. Him and Jordan Max broke up over the situation, but she said this regarding everything. Try to imagine for one second, the man you spent the last six months with, who said I love you for the first time two months ago, is all of a sudden making out with someone else who is in your industry. And then, rather than keeping plans for Christmas and New Year's Eve, he's going to rehab? Do you have any idea how confusing and hurtful that is? I'm not mad that he's in rehab. He told me he quit drugs and then to find out he's A with another girl, B doing drugs with her, and C failing drug tests so he has to go to rehab for is disappointing. Since Riddle's gotten out of rehab, he's exclusively been with Misha Montana and he's been toting around with her and even at adult film star awards and such. There's even a photo of them together with Riddle wearing a ring around his ring finger. This has led to many fans speculating that they are engaged. Recently, Misha even announced that her and Riddle are expecting a baby in the most extravagant way ever. She pulled up to a WWE show and while Matt Riddle was in the ring, she held up a sign that said, 
bro, I'm pregnant. That's certainly an interesting way to let the world know you're expecting a child. Mad Riddle's clearly been using his tool as of late, seeing that his junk pics leaked on the internet. Damn, I really wish I could bleach my eyes. Obviously the internet hasn't been kind or approving of his relationship with Misha Montana, and especially Matt's exes have been vocal about it. They have criticised Misha for being with Riddle considering his past and have warned her that he will do the same thing to her that he did to them. Misha has stuck up for Riddle and defended him countless times and has even called out his exes for being liars. The crazy thing about all of this is that his private life is now public and the situation is still unfolding. We're just gonna have to see how his relationship with Misha goes. So many women have come forward accusing Matt Riddle of heinous things. In every single one of these situations, there's one constant, and it's Matt Riddle. While most likely the women haven't been perfect angels throughout all of this, Riddle is clearly the problem here. It seems that he has a womanizing problem and he's not called a playboy for no reason. He's deeply hurt women. It seems that he's doing better these days and it's good to see that, but him tormenting and traumatizing all these women is just plain wrong. He needs to work on himself to make sure he doesn't hurt someone again and add another victim to his trail of broken hearts. But that's the story of Matt Riddle's tumultuous love life. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other videos. And also, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. But anyway, goodbye.